You know, everybody always wants stuff done for them, yet no one does stuff for me at all, other than put their foot on my neck. Seems like trying to snuff me out. But when some people want it, you know, roots dug up or stumps or food brought to them at the hospital and, you know, I heard well, nobody else will do it. And then yet, I get this kind of treatment after being in church for seven months, way longer than anyone else. Gone through all the motions, everything. Pray at church, pray at home. I mean, that, that that's just messed up, like, why would someone want to, you know, do something for someone else when the per that person always gets shit on? Pardon my language, Lord, but, you know, this is old. Because of them, none of the kids have gone to school. All alarms were slept through. And I woke up freezing cold. And I knew my coat was gone through last night. Because you can hear it. I was asleep. It wasn't me. It, it really is sad, like, why, why would you even think that that's alright, like, I still feel sick and dizzy, should I feel that way, no, I shouldn't. Should I be freezing ass cold? No, I shouldn't. Should I be messed with while I'm asleep and out cold? No, I shouldn't. At least not after paying rent. I don't know, I just can't see myself continually being, you know, shit on and then doing nice things for other people. I, I mean, I can't even remember when somebody actually did something nice for me. Without me actually having to ask. I can't remember the last time. I can remember when people have asked me to do stuff for them though. That's for sure. It either sounds like I'm being poisoned or someone's trying to hold my mouth shut. 
to see if I'll breathe through my nose. Heart still hurts right now. Two days in. Sick and dizzy. Two days in. Well, I don't think that's quite right. And I don't think that's quite fair. Best I can do for you at this point is pray for you. If I still feel sick and dizzy in a little while, I'll call the fire department, housing, someone to come check out what's going on, because it's too much. Whether it's radiation, radon, whatever, I'll call someone out here. So, uh, I mean, all the kids miss school. All. I went to Royal Farms. I seen the middle school being picked up. Yet, everybody else overslept. I missed alarms. You don't think I hear the stuff being plugged in and unplugged and all the other stuff? Don't worry, I appreciate it. It's just not right. I shouldn't have to sit on the the basement steps landing and get beamed by whatever's being focused right at my head level at the door. It's just wrong. I said, don't hook me up to that. You hook me up to it. I said, don't do it. It's going to cause this. Happens anyway. Well... I was the only one that would bring food because no one else would do it. When you were in the hospital, I prayed for everyone else, just like the Bible said to do. Yet I see no changes. I just still see the, the oppression. The no privacy.
Not right by a long shot.